Welcome survivors to the Sunday special where I give you guys all the information that you need very very quickly Okay, so this is the metabolism guide and just to show you what character I'm going to be using for this guide He's standard right through the bank He's got melee weapons and melee, me, medium melee weapons and medium archery because archery is very powerful at the moment Medium running medium endurance medium stealth and medium motorcycling because I love dirt bikes at the moment and then medium survival and medium engineering for crafting purposes just to make your life a lot easier okay so every tip is roughly just going to take a minute and we'll see how many tips i have to give you before we've covered the whole metabolism system but this is going to be a very very short video for you guys that can't watch videos longer than 15 minutes so let's get on to the first tip Okay boys and girls, if you were wondering what am I walk, working towards, why am I suffering, why do I have to go through all of this work, this is, this is what you're working towards, okay? This is who you are working towards becoming, enjoying the game and being a lethal weapon, okay? Now the first thing that I want you guys to focus on the metabolism is the fact that you can level up strength by just carrying weight on you, running and jogging or just walking everywhere with heavy weight on you. You can level up constitution by walking, running, jogging or swimming and you can level up dexterity by having a calorie deficiency, okay? And then the first thing that you want to keep an eye on is your temperature. Your temperature always needs to stay around 37 degrees Celsius. Anything a bit too high is going to make you overheat. Anything a bit too low is going to make you freeze. Okay, that's the target that you're aiming for. The second thing that you guys want to look at is your action difficulties. Your action difficulties has six stages and it says how many stamina units you're using per second out of your stamina units pool. Okay. Resting is when you're lying down, passive is when you're standing still, effortless is when you're walking, tiring is when you're jogging. So with all of these, you can do these for a very long time, even jogging, you can jog for a very, very long time, even if you've got some weight on you. As you can see, I've got 41 kilograms on me out of 19. But then as soon as you start running, you're going to be burning your stamina very, very quickly and eating up your um, your nutrition, your energy and your water. And as soon as you run with a lot of weight on you like I have, then you're going to be in exhausting, which you're also going to burn your calories very, very quickly. So you want to stick to jogging as much as possible. Okay, stick to jogging. Okay, the next thing that you want to look at in your metabolism is your performance score. Okay, your performance score is a unit for action execution speed. It influences how fast you can run, walk, paddle, chop, etc. How fast you do anything, guys. And then performance score depends on three things. Muscle mass, how strong you are, and then how are you going to build up your strength by being active in the game. Body fat, of course, the less body fat you have, the faster you're going to do things. So you're going to have to level up dexterity or prisoner weight load. The percentage is scaled for your current character and your max performance score value can be decreased or increased by altering, altering these three things mentioned above. So you can see because we've only got a performance score of 52%, we are walking slower, jogging slower, running slower. We're going to chop trees down slower. We're going to do everything slower. Okay. What's the point of this tip? Don't have a lot of weight on you. Get a base as soon as quickly. Put your loot away as much as quickly. You're just going to be do, be able to do everything a lot quicker. Okay? Okay. The next thing that we are going to look at is healing speed. Now, this is the only thing here that actually gives you a score. Okay? And you can see the score is 1.05. That is how fast we are healing. And we're going to heal a lot because we're going to get damaged a lot. Okay. How do I increase the healing speed? Even if it just says 100%, I um, sit down or I lie down or I rest on a chair or a bed or whatever the case may be. And then if I go back to my healing speed, it still says 100%, but now you will see it says 1.999. Okay. And of course, that value increases the higher your constitution gets. Okay, and your constitution will get higher the more you run, sprint, swim, and do everything. And your strength will increase the more protein you have in you and the, the more weight you carry on you. And your dexterity will increase with the calorie deficiency. 
losing weight. Okay, but when you get to five constitution one day, your the difference between standing and sitting down, the the difference in healing speed is going to increase massively. Okay, so for all you sledgehammer, katana, melee weapon fans out there that is disappointed with how weak your character is at the moment, remember you can level up your strength to eight. Okay, so you will become a powerhouse one day. But when it comes to melee damage, I'm not going to read everything to you. It says, if you get a penalty on your strength attribute, like we've got low strength at the moment, which we are going to level up. If you get a penalty on your strength, strength attribute, because you have the weakness condition, the melee damage indicator will fall. When you treat the weakness condition, it will return back to normal. Okay? So if you have the weakness condition because you don't have a good diet or you're suffering from something, get rid of it because you are going to, you are not going to do as much melee damage as you could do. Okay? This is especially for you guys that love the sledgehammers and axes and katanas and want to get back to where you were before this update. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to focus on is energy. Okay, energy gets increased by food intake. Food you get in various ways. Shooting down birds, cooking their meat, killing animals and cooking their meat because you need to cook your food these days. And then you don't want to eat anything below 70%. But at towns, you will get various food resources like pumpkins, um, wheat flour, sugar, cheese. And in the forest, you'll get this massive mushroom that gives you um, carbs and sugars and protein and you know quite a few vitamins. Um, the pumpkin gives you carbs, okay? The grape gives you carbs and sugars and different minerals. The sugar gives you a major boost with carbs and sugar. If you find this, you've hit the jackpot. And the wheat flour will um, give you a ton of carbs, which is also really, really great. And then bread gives you a ton of carbs as well and a dietary fiber. Okay, so you'll find these foods all over the show. But MREs are by far um, the best. Um, it doesn't look like it, but trust me, guys, when you eat these MRE bags, they will fill you up very, very, very quickly. Okay. I am just going to eat one of them at the moment. I've got 73%. Okay. So you're going to eat one calorie, um, MRE bag, and then you guys will see what it looks like at the, in the end. And this is what it looks like at the moment, 73%. Let's see what we look like when we're done with the MRE bag. Okay, so as you guys can see, if you go look at an MRE bag and you press control on it, it's just going to say 95 calories. going to give you very small percentages, very, you know, very little grams that you're going to gain. That one says 300 calories. So the MRE bags say between 100 to 300 calories. But when you're eating it, you can see there at the bottom, the nutritional value, okay, it's 1,080 calories that is being processed. And this thing is going to process very, very slowly in your system, and you're going to be get, gaining calories all the time. That is roughly the same with all the food. The food's only going to say 77 calories, but they always tend to give you a little bit more calories than what you need, okay? So let's just quickly jump to the water while we are here. Your body cannot absorb more than 400 milliliters at a time. Okay, anything more than 400 milliliters which you drink, your body is going to be dispelling very, very quickly through your bladder. It's going to be wasted. Okay, so the best way to drink is to drink once. And you will see now one drink is going to equal 200 milliliters. Okay, 200 milliliters, 200 grams, 200 milliliters. Then we're going to drink again. And now you have to wait for the water to run out of your stomach and your intestines to start lowering. You just have to wait for these two to disappear. Because while these two, are, while these two drinks are in your system, you are going to be increasing. You are going, your body is going to be absorbing the water. This way, your bladder doesn't fill up. You're not going to sit with the problem that you have to go to the toilet permanently. And this is all you literally need. Okay. I like to just go for with three. Okay. 
it's not the the best way but i like going for three and then this water is gonna be in my system for quite a while my bladder still doesn't fill up too quickly and now i can jog and run while this is in my system and then later on i can have more drinks how can i have more drinks well this bottle over here is a two liter bottle so if i put this bottle in my hand okay i can literally and drink the water or according to me i can spill it okay so there i'm throwing it out so i can drink that soda for sugar okay but after i've drank all the all the nutritional value from it now i can fill it fill the car fill it okay so now i've got two liters of water in here so just with this one little bottle remember a small water bottle takes one slot so with two little water bottles you're only going to have a liter in total this, these two slots are giving me two liters okay so i can i can do what i did here four times before i need to fill that water bottle up again okay even even this even if you get an alcohol bottle guys you can spill the alcohol okay alcohol is not good for you in this game you can drink it to have some fun but don't ignore an alcohol bottle okay because an alcohol bottle you can also uh, fill it up with water okay and now it's going to give you 100 milliliters of water okay it's not it's not the best idea but a can normally gives you about 300 330 okay so if i go here and i spill this spill out this beer i can fill up this can with water as well okay and this can i know gives you about it says 100 guys but trust me a coke can or a beer can gives you about 330 milliliters of water okay so you can have all these kinds of things in your inventory and then of course you can craft um you can craft a water skin that holds a lot of water as well okay so you can craft the improvised water container and then you can get a canteen as well but this bottle this two liter bottle works very very well so that you can do what i told you to do now four times before you need to do it again and while this while this is working your system guys you can run and do whatever you want to do your bladder is going to fill up slowly and your water is going to replenish and you're not going to have a water problem again okay just focus now and then on the different food sources that you get and handle those food sources okay so that's energy done with normal food and that's your water done okay um your muscle mass is just dependent on your strength the more pressure you put your character under the more muscle you're going to gain and of course um the more you're in a calorie deficit the fat the more fat you're going to lose okay so fat indication of how many kilograms of fat is there in your body at this particular moment fat in your body can be increased or decreased depending on the diet and difficulty of the physical actions you do to upgrade your strength if the body fat reserves fall below a critical level consequences even include death okay so not good having a bad diet that can lead to your death okay and when you eat or drink don't let this go over 90 percent and doesn't matter if this is empty don't fill up your stomach again if there's still something in your intestines okay because to work out to calculate how they work together is difficult but if this surpasses 70 percent you're going to shit yourself or puke or something like that when this gets to 50 percent poop when this gets to 50 percent pee don't wait for 100 percent when it gets to 50 poop when it gets to 50 pee okay and now let's go cover the most the most important bit about this metabolism guide which is getting hurt okay i just want to show you guys i am running with my character that has got double the weight on him that he can look at his stamina boy stamina boy is red so i'm in the exhausting phase but look at my water my water is still going up even though i'm putting my character under intense pressure because that water is in my system i am still gaining calories and everything okay 
So that reserve in your body is going to help you to not eat and have to drink all the time. Just do it little by little, okay? And you'll be fine. Even with a character like this, which has a heck of a lot of weight on him. Water still going up, calories are still going up while I'm putting my character under pressure. As soon as these disappear, I have to start making a plan again. But I can make a plan by having the two liter bottle on me. Getting these three, getting these three filled up for myself again. And then just having a little bit of food on me. Uh, maybe this, maybe that. Uh, maybe a little bit of three grapes, maybe three cucumbers, maybe three pieces of bread, okay? I can have those things on me. Or meat that, I, that I've cooked, okay? I've got various options to solve that. But this is gonna, this is gonna save you guys a heck, of a, lot frust a, lot, a heck of a lot of frustration when you can still run around with a lot of weight on you and both of these, both your energy and your water is still going up. Okay, now we can play. It's not a running simulator. It's not a drinking simulator. It's not an eating simulator. It's like real life. Okay, that's it. Okay, now we can cover. Now we can cover the basics. And remember, I took my character. I took my character with uh, medium archery. Some point in the game, guys. Even if you take medium archery from the beginning, or you don't, at some point in the game. Um, nothing's going to pose a threat to you anymore. Okay? Especially when you get these... Especially when you get these broadhead arrows. Doesn't really matter what comes your way. Okay? You're going to kill a person in one shot. You're going to get kill a puppet in one shot. Really, Ruthias? You're talking about any puppet? Yes. Who's making a noise here? Oh yeah, that's an armored puppet, boys. That's an armored puppet. In his in his armor. Okay, that is in the in the worst place possible. We can hit him. Okay, but where where do we hit armored puppets? And that's why I don't like making long videos, guys. It's just, it's almost impossible to give you guys all the information. But this is the Sunday special. So, let's just go here. Armored Puppet. Okay, that's it. He's dead. And the more your archery skill increases, the faster you can shoot. And you can always stagger them. But trust me, if you if you hit a player with this, he's gonna die. Okay, but let's get to the injury system and let's let's you know let's let's stop complaining. I know puppets let make you guys bleed, but you you're not processing it. So let's process it quickly. Okay, guys, I've taken my bulletproof vest off, but you can get a. Uh, a police riot vest or a heavy military vest that's going to protect your chest a heck of a lot against puppets but let's just spawn a puppet in because a lot of you are stressing about the fact that you bleed now okay about the fact that you bleed now so i'm just going to let this puppet hit me quickly and let's see when he gets okay that's a c1 so that's a bleeding marker Are you? There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. You're boring us. And yes, guys, this is my favorite pistol, the Magnum. There are a few pistols in the game, but this is my favorite. <laughs> it staggers there big time. reload here again this is what you're w working for guys this is what you're working for now i'm bleeding but nothing that a puppet that a puppet does to me is going to freak me out yes i can treat this but i don't have to because it's going to automatically go into the stabilization phase whether it's the normal bruise that starts at stabilization or whether it's a bleed 
Okay, if I have multiple wounds and I'm about to die, yes, then I want to treat it. And when you treat something, boys, goodness gracious, um, look at the circle. I don't know how many people just treat it, just add one bandage to it, or just click on all the bandages. You don't need to click on all the bandages. You click until the circle's done, and then you treat it. Okay, whether you've got rags or rag strips or whatever the case may be, it doesn't matter. Just let that circle complete itself. Okay, and that's it. You don't have to click 10 bandages or click one bandage. Okay, there's a circle around it for a reason. Okay, and any C1, anything from, um, yeah, like C1 does not require treating because it automatically stabilizes. Okay, C1 progress bar shows time until stabilization. Okay, so it's going to stabilize. C2, C3, C4 progress bar shows time until you bleed out. So that's the only ones that you have to have a heart attack about, is the C2 to C3 injuries, which you normally get from players or megs or animals or something like that. Those are the only ones that you need to stress about, okay? But in any case, let's take out this bad boy and let's get, let's get serious bleeding injuries here. The only way we're going to get serious bleeding injuries is with an animal. My favorite little animal, which is the wolf. Okay. Okay. So we've got a C1 and a C2. Okay. So we can clearly see the C1 is stabilizing on its own. The C2 is not stabilizing. The C2 is getting worse and worse. Okay, but again, if I click on it, if I use this tourniquet, which is OP, I can treat it immediately. And it's gonna, it's going to be, it's going to go into recovery a lot faster. Okay, a lot faster. This is gonna also just take one, except if it's a C4. It's a C4, it's gonna take multiple. But with, with the hemostatic dressing and the normal dressing, um, it's going to you're going to be recovering. It's going to be st it's going to stabilize a lot faster. And one of my viewers said that the hemostatic lets you stabilize a minute, you know, a minute faster. Um, this dressing makes it two minutes faster, and I think the tourniquet makes it three three times faster. Okay, but even if you're using rags, there's the circle, boys. Just focus on the circle. I don't know how many people I see do this. Just focus on the circle. Okay, and like I say, tourniquet, tourniquet's a lifesaver. Tourniquet is definitely, definitely a lifesaver because it only takes one slot in your inventory, where all the other things takes multiple slots in your inventory. Okay, so let's heal quickly and see if we can get a major wound from a bear. Okay, if you guys have got any questions regarding this, leave it down in the comments below. So the normal puppet damage that goes into stabilization, don't worry about it. The C1 bleeding markers that you all are stressing about from puppets, don't worry about it. Unless you get hit 20 times, then you've got a defensive problem, not a ble bleeding problem. And then C2 to C3, anything will help you. Um, but if you sustain a C2 to C4 um, bleed, don't move around. Because if you move around with major injuries, then this, the progress will worsen until it gets here and then the wound will open up again. And then you're, then you're going to be in some serious trouble. Okay. And like I said, this is what you, this is what you guys are working towards. So let's just wait until we're healed and let's finish this, this guy. Okay, boys and girls, we're back to square one. If you did appreciate this video, just do me a favor, please, and click the like button. I know it wasn't short, but I can't give you all this information in a 10-minute video. If you want 10-minute videos, there are many YouTubers that make 10-minute videos. But if you did appreciate this information, just click the like button. If you want to see more advanced tips um, on Scum, you can just click the subscribe button for future content. And then, yes, guys... I have just tested the sugar and the flour in the past. It wasn't really a problem, but now it is. So if you eat sugar, 
or flour raw, it's going to repulse you. You're still going to get the sugar value from it, but it is going to repulse you. Okay, so don't let that bar fall up. Then it's going to go in the, into the stabilization phase. And if you want to get rid of the, of the food repulsion, then just drink water. Okay, as soon as you drink water, you are going to lose the food repulsion very, very quickly. Okay, but that, that sugar is still going to be there in your system. Okay, so we're just going to drink until that's sorted out. Okay, now we're done. Okay, and we drank about 500 milliliters, which was quite good. And I suggest drink all until you're at 500 milliliters and then stop it. Okay, every use of the bottle is about 100 milliliters. So you can either drink five times or you can just drink all until you add 500 milliliters and then you then you'll have a bar that goes down a lot slower instead of having five bars that goes down a lot quicker okay but that's how you get rid of the food repulsion but you can still eat clean flour and clean sugar to get the sugar and the carb boost but if you want to use it right cook um make a birthday cake which is going you're going to need flour for and then um, make an apple pie, which you are going to be able to use the sugar. So then you can get those resources naturally from what you've cooked. Okay. And then again, you can even eat a, snow, uh, uh, a snowball. What is it? Yeah, a snowball in the snow. Okay. If you eat a snowball, then a snowball is going to give you 200 milliliters. Okay. You only need two snowballs in the snow. To, to have the water that you need 200 milliliters from one snowball that is insane man that is insane so in any case um let's get out our weapon here and let's spawn the monster let's spawn the monster Just a C1 and a C2? Come on, buddy. You can do better than that. Goodness gracious. Thanks for leaving me alone. <laughs> okay, it's a C1 and a C2, boys. We just click on it. We take three rags, we treat it. Because that's a C2. The C2 goes up. The minor injuries go down. We only need to worry about the ones that are going to kill us. And we need to worry about these because these lets us lose blood. And when we lose blood, okay, so it is decreasing our health. But not at any major rate. Okay, not at any major rate. We're at 34 HP. We've got two C1 injuries. That's what the puppets usually gives us. Okay, and we don't need to worry about it. If we're in, in extreme circumstances, you know, we can we can add these we can add these items to it. But I'm not going to waste bandages if it's not going to kill me, because when it goes into stabilization, um, it takes quite long. So when it goes into stabilization, I need to lie down again to increase my healing speed. Okay. But then this is going to take the longest. As soon as it gets into recovery, it's going to boost. It's going to be very, very fast. And I can get back into the action. So if I've left anything out, guys, leave it down in the comments below. I hope you know how to deal with anything that the that the game can throw at you now and hopefully we get those major dangerous puppets in the bunkers to add to the pve d danger and then i have asked the developers to give me an animal damage multiplier so that the animals can do more damage that freaking humphrey over here can actually be dangerous okay i don't want to play with a bear i want to fear a bear and i definitely don't want to play with a wolf i want to fear a wolf so on my server, as soon as they add that command, I will be making my pup, my animals a lot more dangerous. And again, guys, if you enjoyed this, click the like button. Hope you guys have a great week. See you guys later.
Cheers.